Yeah, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. Okay. And now I'm just going down to this footage, right? They're talking about the autopsy, right? Now, I want y'all to understand in a sense of why. I mean, it is important, you know, but also what's important is this footage that they really not, they don't want to disclose, you know. And again, we hoping that they bring it up in trial, you know what I'm saying? Because we understand that there has to be something of that magnitude. We got a big parking lot, right? I mean, we got, again, told you guys, I mean, we know Bikita's got footage, you know what I'm saying? I heard front and back door entry footage, you know what I'm saying? Allegedly, you know, but of course, a business like that was making money, and you had somebody of that magnitude coming through there, and also, allegedly, you had association with Sam G, you know, Gotti now, so again, I'm pretty sure, you know what I'm saying? It was some kind of footage, you know, and an end from Family Dollar as well, right? Also, the laundromat. You know, folks ain't speaking, you know. Um, and it's just kind of strange, you know what I'm saying? So, again, on all platforms, right? Social media for mainstream TV. I mean, they're showing the same side footage, y'all, of uh, assailants that sent Young Dolph up. And it's just kind of strange, you know what I'm saying? That they only had this one angle. I mean, to me, this whole case is just smell kind of fishy, especially when. I mean, now folks talking about that all black Bentley, um, that bulletproof boy that, you know, was rolling around, you know what I'm saying, while the whole thing was happening, you know what I'm saying? And then now you got months later, folks talking about also how uh, Money Bag Yo supposedly is supposed to brought the same kind of truck for his girl, Ari, you know what I'm saying? Now, guess what? That, that ain't even true, because... What he did by her was, it wasn't no Bentley, it was a Rolls Royce. Now, what she did by her is for herself, because he bought a Rolls Royce for her birthday. And what she did by her is for herself, you know what I'm saying? She bought a, uh, a Bentley, and it wasn't no SUV, you know what I'm saying? So, y'all got to understand the reason why this whole... Uh, these bulletproof Bentleys are created in the first place, right? You know what I'm saying? They, you know, so business leaders, celebrities, and CEOs. I did that last part, and CEOs. But yeah, front for, you know, for threats. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? Again, money back, yo. You didn't buy all your Bentley. In 2020, she purchased a Bentley. But I told y'all, it wasn't bulletproof, man. Money bag, yo. It did buy all of that Rolls Royce for a birthday, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. You can look for yourself. That boy God, he got people out here protecting him, man. I'm telling you with these made up stories of money bag, yo, buying Ari. The same carbon. Black, black bulletproof Bentley. You know what I'm saying? As seen on one of the footage of Young Dolph Makita's hit. And y'all got to understand what's going on out here. Raven to be, like, basically, like, going off on her. Mm -hmm. No, it ain't go as planned. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to look at the fact that the lady slipped and said something out her mouth. The lady on the other half of the video with the landlord talking, she said out her own mouth that and you guys removed my security system that I installed. Hmm. I installed. They didn't like. They didn't want to play the rest of that video just as well as they cropped out the like the Bentley truck. Like you can't, you can't do that. Like they got a lot of people behind this. It's a lot of moving pieces, you know. So yeah, a lot of people not going. You know, the people you think it is. Hey. It's bigger than that, you know, again, it's, it's Dolph was that dude, you know, through Memphis, so again, somebody of that magnitude, you know, hey, these things, you know, they have, they had to be properly planned out, you know, and not, not by a small time guy who they got, y'all seeing on TV, right, so all the suspects who y'all got, 
who they showing y'all on TV, them folks ain't got no, them folks ain't got the mindset to plan out something of this magnitude. Do y'all understand? It's a lot of moving pieces on this chessboard. And not only that, those pieces, the, the person who moving and making those pieces move, they have to have money. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't nobody finna do nothing without no, you know what I'm saying? What you gonna pay me on a, on a first half to the end to make sure it's handled. You know what I'm saying? So you gonna get that upfront money and then you gonna get that money to make sure that it was handled. You know what I'm saying? So again, you got to have, it got to be somebody, again, so that that Black Bentley is, is basically telling us that, yeah, it was somebody with money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Don't know, like, <clears throat> people really don't, like, people don't like the fact that the truck was sitting directly across, like, where the camera could see it. Like, the point that the camera could see it indicates that they knew them. Like, they were sitting on a road. Like, that was not a parking spot. That was not a parking spot. You have to look at that. That black truck was sitting on the road. When the guys was running back to the car, like, okay, it's done. Like, they said that Daddy-O was up Hmm. in the truck. Hmm. I bet y'all any money that truck was sitting at the Shell gas station acting like he was getting gas the whole time. Right there. Right there. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a good distance that, you know what I'm saying, that you could just act like you're getting gas and watch what's going on at the same time. And also be like, act like you're in total shock when it happened, even though you know what was going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then make you look at it like, damn, we can't even go to the cookie shop no more. Mm. We got to really like, man, we got to go the other way because yeah. that stuff happened right there and yeah. we don't want it happening again. Like, you got to pay attention to that. Like, a lot of people ride past that cookie shop and don't even want to stop at the laundromat. At the laundromat. Like, come on now. You know it's hard out here when you can't even stop at the laundromat. And then while your clothes in the laundromat, you go get some cookies. They said the guys literally came through the back of Makita's. Why, why Maurice ain't saying nothing? Man, I'm trying to understand why ain't nobody acting like there are no back door to these places. Like, that's where they went and took the trash out. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a back door. Like, let's be real. Like, every time, every night, they had leftovers of a bunch of cookies that they had, and they had to throw away, they went through the back door. So, again, everybody just want to keep talking about them two suspects, the two individuals that came through the front. There ain't nobody, hey... They missing that whole back door entry. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Hey. Look. Look at the light. Like, the back. Like, the camera right on the side of the light. If you sit there and you pay attention, it's no way Family Dollar or Makita's or the laundromat. The back of the laundromat. The back laundromat. The camera that's right there pointed towards the dumpster where everybody walked to. Everybody on that little back strip mall. Like you gotta understand, they throw they they throw the garbage in four dumpsters that's right there combined, right there by the woods. You get like people not paying attention not to paying it. Paying attention, man, it's crazy. All you gotta do is understand again. When if it wasn't a case of this magnitude dealing with this particular person, trust me, they would have had all kind of footage from all directions. They would have had satellite satellite footage. Like, let's be real. You know what I'm saying? But for some reason, they're acting like um, they don't have these things at their dispense. And because we know that these this type of information right here is very valuable. Because it's dealing with a, somebody very valuable who was in that black Bentley that made sure. Yeah, yeah it, it's like they knew, though. Yeah. Like, whoever was in there, it's like they knew, though, because they was the first ones on the scene when it happened to dog why did the black bentley pull it off after they saw that something just happened right there why did it just pull off why didn't it been pull off once they like like no y'all pull up like ain't no telling when it pulled off from what they saying in memphis they said it pulled off like basically like right before the police pulled up and right before the people came out the store yeah y'all know what it is 
Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.